This video is going to bring the discussion of Pokemon Journeys. Yeah, episode 114. The reaction is now going to commence. Okay, we're back with Ash and the adventure I actually really care about. That's good that these guys are training. But Ash, your old Pokemon are also a thing. You know that, right? I mean, they should. After all, he's trying to win the world tournament with his newest team. Yeah? Please tell me. No? I mean, obviously. Because I've watched this entire series, I have, except the Wawa, and I've watched a lot of Wawa. I believe, oh my goodness, there's an army. I love it. Oh, Scrappy, oh, oh, so many. Hey, there they are. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the millions of Taurus. Oh, meet everyone else. Shinji. Oh, I know, po oh. <sighs> okay. Oh, my goodness, so many Taurus. <sighs> so, you're not gonna use the Mario. Water types. Grass types, yeah, all the experienced. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, so hype. Indeed. Ash doesn't have any more electric types, does he? Well, that's actually a cool contest move. He doesn't have any ghost types either. <laughs> okay, gang, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ooh. Oh, adorable. Oh my goodness, is it Electrovire? Yeah, come on, rematch. Are all the other Pokemon also coming up? I wonder how he ranked in the Masters 8. Hot? Cold? Huh? Does Kangar? No. He wouldn't have color change. Yeah, see, no. It's so unbelievable that Tash has done everything he has in the matter of an ear. Yeah, he's always like that, true. The Fusion Charizard. Hey, someone's gonna have a reunion. Okay, was he here to help you with something? Oh. Wait, you know him? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Want three much? Oh, okay. <laughs> Pick up Professor Oak. Sad, come on! Give me a rematch! I really want it! Oh, the fire Pokemon are teaching him fire punch. Oh, there we go. Everyone's hyped. There we go. Wow, that's so cool! I love that! Ash, what? Oh. That's so cool, but I really wish... Ooh, the fighting types. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I don't know why Buizel's there. Obviously, I'm training with the flying types and the dragon type. Oh, these are just chilling. Carfish and Kingwar. <laughs> I like the very spine. Festivities. Oh, yes. Please. 3v3. No switching. Oh. Oh, that's Mystical Fire. That's cool. It's a ghostly move. Good work in for Nip. Another one of his Pokemon that is probably stronger than the team he's using in Masters 8. Oh, Will Wisp! Okay, cool. Still a move. This is such a waste that Tash is gonna win with this team. I don't mind him using one of them in each battle, but I would want a 20, 20 v 20 fight. We're never getting it, but oh. That would be the best way to end the series, in personal opinion, but okay. So, Lucario against uh, Gardos. That's neat. Wait, did he have a Gardos? I don't think so. Apparently, I'm probably gonna enjoy this fight more than the next one. Oh, is that Hyper Beam? Probably Hyper Beam. <laughs> Where did all the Pokemon around go? I mean, yeah, that's how the move works. I was thinking because he used the Gyarados, maybe we're going both Mega Evolution and I would have loved to see Paul use Mega Evolution, but I guess not. What? Oh, what a power. Is that a new move or is it Aura Sphere? It wasn't Aura Sphere. What is that? Is that a new move? Wait, you're expecting this? Again? Blood Punch. Oh, he should outspeed this. Poof. This is a 3v3, so there's more after this. I mean, I hope he did. Please win. Lucario knocked out. <sighs> I was hoping Lucario was, but hey. Lucario is annoying me a little. Lucario is a fan favorite. That's the only reason Ash has him. I mean, that can be said about pretty much his entire team on this. But anyway. Oh, he did not Bullet Punch. Okay, I'm not delusional. Right. Who's Dragon Knight fighting? English name? Garchomp. Nice. This is definitely the strongest... Okay. Is... No way. Are his other Pokemon gonna lose, but Lucario's gonna win? Oh, that's super effective. Okay. Yep, that one hurts. Oof. Oh, I am so annoyed he's using only these Pokemon and... A Clash? Wow, another Clash and end, and let me guess, Dragonite? Oh! Okay, but Garchomp is out. Very good. 
So what, Wukari is just that broken? Wukari doesn't deserve the same treatment as Greninja, I should have gotten another Mega Evolution, you cannot change my mind. I don't mind Ash having a Wukario, but he should have gotten another Mega Evolution. Oh. Other Pokemon that the other from Master Z have. Yeah, there we go, the fire types. I didn't expect that they would be the one to teach Gang or something. Agility. Oof. I'm so happy Ash is not sweeping Po, with, especially with this new team. Ooh. Ooh. That is sh so shocking of Paul helping him like that. Sorry. And I guess his story isn't over. And you'll be fighting a mega meta gross. Will Wisp, you move. I'm hearing the music, it's pretty hype. <laughs> Infernape is obviously enough hype. Okay. Oof. Yeah, the burn effect. Okay. So only Dragonite was. Okay, I feel like that was slightly too easy, but hey. I'm actually more fine with this. Honestly, only the Wukario fight annoyed me. Wukario is just the biggest fan service I'm not happy about. He could have given one of them a Mega, or he could have caught a new Pokemon. And it could have been so many. Yeah. Was the coincidence? There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would love to see it. Interesting, he said he doesn't like festivities, but this is the biggest... Oh, that's cool! Neat. I'm so hard. I'm watching the next one immediately as well. Look at how many Pokemon use some of them, please. I'm sorry. Just switch Wukari with any of them. Precisely because I know he's not doing yet, I am so pissed. This is so sad, look at them. I... The fact that he is not using any of his other Pokemon is frustrating me beyond belief. If, once again, if this is the end of the series of Farash, not using all of his Pokemon against his biggest challenge, fighting the literal gods that pretty much the Pokemon world does in the best trainers out of the best, this is such a disappointment for him not to use his previous Pokemon when, in war stakes tournaments, he has used his other Pokemon. And also, by the way, once again, now seeing Paul even more so, how is Tobias not <laughs> Master Zate? I'm sorry, but how is he not? And also, let's be honest, we know why. If he was, then Ash would actually have to use his actual literal strongest team, which sadly enough, Lucario would have to be there. And I would say Pikachu also. Uh, Sceptile had a decent fight, so he probably would have Sceptile. You know what, I'm not gonna go after the fight that I really would love to see. I would love it so much more. I mean, I would love also the fights we're gonna get, but... <sighs> Seeing all of his other Pokemon made me so hype, I love it. I've watched this series, this is the reason why I started loving Pokemon, from the Pokemon anime. Obviously, I started watching it much later, much later, much later after it came out. I think by the time I started watching the first arc of Pokemon, just the very beginning, it was technically in Gen 3. So, I've actually caught up with Pokemon in my later years. I think I was caught up whenever I was at Gen 5. And at that point, I've been watching constantly. I watched the entirety of X and Y, which, once again, that was entertaining. <sighs> Greninja doesn't feel cheap. Wukario does. I'm sorry I'm saying that, but just, it, that's my feeling. Wukario feels cheap. Like, he feels like Ash is cheapest Pokemon that he's gotten. It actually does. I'm just getting annoyed just thinking about it. I can't even look at you. I'm just that annoyed. But anyway. Point is, this was a very awesome moment. I loved seeing all his other Pokemon training, the others hyping up for this very big tournament. And... Uh, yeah. And then we ended with this. I also wonder, are they gonna tease anything from Gen 9? And if Ash does continue on, on Gen 9, which frankly, why? But I think it's kinda stupid if he does, unless they give a good excuse like, this is not the Master Zate as in the world, but this is the Master Zate as in on this continent. That would be an excuse, I suppose, which I would accept. At which point Ash is still a continental champion. Even if he doesn't get the victory. The fact that he got to the Master's 8 of a, just s seven regions with so many trainers. He is fighting champions, gym leaders, and yeah, just I don't know how they're gonna continue the story with Ash. I really am wondering what they're gonna do. And I am astoundedly sad he's not using any of his other Pokemon. 
and Paul said it. Use only Pokemon you're gonna use in the Masters 8. And he didn't use any of his other... I don't know whether it was the rule set beforehand that he can't use any of them. I don't care what's the reason that they can't. The, the story could have made it so. I'm just really frustrated with that. Uh, this is the only time I'm gonna complain about it. I, no, it isn't. But it is the time where I will be complaining most about it. Precisely because I loved seeing all his other Pokemon. Once again, I have watched everything. Except X and Y, which once again, X and Y, lies, except Alola. And obviously enough, Alola, his Pokemon from Alola are not here, we know why, but... <sighs> I am pissed off. And you know what, his Alola Pokemon, even though he didn't use any of his previous Pokemon in Alola, which once again, I feel like that was a disappointment. I guess that's why I feel like, even though I'm probably gonna enjoy the Alola League when I do watch it, I feel like the Sinnoh League is uh, just forever going to be the absolute best one because he did use his previous Pokemon and frankly he did use Charizard in uh, uh, Gen 5 as well and I'm forgetting the name but yeah he did use this one and talking about that Iris is also a trainer you know what I'm just watching the next one immediately we'll see what's gonna happen there's a video to my channel there and bye